Unveiling the Untold Secrets of Chernobyl, a chilling journey into the heart of one of history's greatest mysteries. Join us as we delve into the shocking revelations that stunned scientists worldwide. Welcome to Insane Mysteries in Chernobyl that Shocked Scientists. Due to a failed safety test, two explosions occurred in one of the reactors at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the then Soviet Union on April 26, 1986. It is the largest nuclear disaster that has ever occurred. After the explosion in the reactor, the first concern was to extinguish the fire, which had started after the ignition of graphite and hydrogen gas. However, radioactive material had also been thrown into the environment. Only 33 hours after the disaster did evacuation of the immediate area begin. After 10 days, some 135,000 people had been evacuated from an area with a radius of 30 kilometers around the reactor, which in the meantime was declared a prohibited area. Sweden sent the first alert. Keep in mind that 1986 was still a part of the Cold War. When something happened, the Soviet Union didn't immediately inform the West about it. The first people in the West to learn about the explosion were Swedish nuclear plant personnel, whose sensors detected elevated radiation levels. We didn't comprehend what had happened until the rest of the world aimed its satellites toward what is currently northern Ukraine. Radioactive iodine is the first killer. The true murderers after the explosion are radioactive isotopes, which are spread by airborne dust particles that then fall to the Earth. One of the most hazardous is radioactive iodine, which may quickly build up in the thyroid gland and cause thyroid cancer and death. If your thyroid is sufficiently stocked with natural iodine, radioactive iodine won't build up. However, individuals are particularly in danger if they are deficient in natural iodine, such as those who reside in locations with iodine-poor soils. To prevent the buildup of radioactive iodine in people's bodies, relief efforts start by delivering iodine pills to those in the impacted areas. Fortunately, iodine-131 only has an 8-day half-life, Thus, the hazard does not provide a long-term issue. Strontium-90 and cesium-137 are the long-term killers. Cesium-137 and strontium-90 pose arguably the most serious threats. Their respective half-lifetimes are 30 and 28 years. With these two, their consumption poses the main risk. Strontium-90 is easily integrated into the bones and teeth of people, especially young children who have consumed milk from cows that have consumed contaminated fodder because it follows the chemistry of calcium. Cesium-137 is easily absorbed into the blood and can be incorporated into both human and animal tissues since its chemistry is similar to that of potassium. At varied rates, all of this results in grave health problems and fatalities. Both of these isotopes nevertheless present a significant concern due to their very long half-lives. There is a safety exclusion zone because only roughly half of the radioactive material has decomposed as of yet. Radiation in Chernobyl is relative. Different types of radiation exist. Radiation in science refers to a spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. Radio waves are examples of long wavelengths. Light is positioned in the center. Alpha, beta, and gamma rays are examples of short wavelengths that are released by radioactive isotopes. They can enter your cells and damage your DNA. These rays are constantly present all around us. The problem is in the sum. Surprisingly, your radiation exposure might be extremely low even if you are right next to the main reactor. Nobody lives in Chernobyl. Chernobyl has a large population that varies throughout time. The feeder city of Pripyat is the ghost town you see in the majority of photos. Theoretically, no one resides there any longer. However, Residents of Chernobyl, a town located a little over 10 kilometers from the plant, regularly come and go. Additionally, we discovered more people who unofficially reside in the region for the Life After Chernobyl documentary, including this 90-year-old man. The animals are radioactive but doing well. This is a relative statement. The animals there develop strange growths and birth abnormalities as a result of the radiation. In our species, humans, we would not tolerate even 1% aberration. This, however, seems to the animals to be a small price to pay for residing in an area that is largely devoid of humans. The unfortunate reality is that most animals' ability to live is probably most hampered by human presence. 
We discover the horrifying reality behind the catastrophe as we peel back Chernobyl's mystifying layers. The menacing aura of Chernobyl's secrets has captivated us ever since Sweden's initial warning was given and it still does today. The impenetrable power of nature is demonstrated by the silent city of Pripyat, the adaptable animals and the mysteries that continue to baffle humanity. Join us for more mind-blowing insights and world puzzles. Don't miss out. Click the subscribe button to be kept informed about new mind-bending discoveries.